so I was really early in the morning. I'm headed to the dentist for my six month checkup. Gotta use some dental benefits before my dental insurance expires. So I use mine in June and December. I know it's kind of cutting it, but it's kind of how I have it set up. So I have to go before the end of June. I didn't get a chance to show you all my completed wall yesterday, walls in my nursery, because the lighting was so horrible and the pink actually ended up looking red and it's not red. It's more of a darker pink. So I will show you all that later when the sun comes up. It's super early. I like to get my appointments early and done with, if you know me. I don't like sitting around, hanging around all day long. And then I gotta go to an appointment. Even with my nail appointments, I do 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock, no later. I have actually one tomorrow at 7.30. Sorry I'm moving, I don't have my tripod with me this morning. Totally forgot. A few moments later. Just got done Pilates class. Now I'm headed to my usual because I'm usually starving to death when I'm done working out. So I'm headed to one of my favorite coffee shops. I'm going to order a breakfast bowl, a couple of other things. They usually always mess up my order. We're gonna see if they can get it right this morning. You'll see what I get in a few seconds. Yes, can I have a vegetarian breakfast in a bowl? No cheese, add peppers and onions and avocado. Matcha green tea frap, no whipped cream with almond milk. Add blueberry, half sweet, two pumpkin bread slices. How much I want to bet they mess up my order. They always put cheese. I don't understand. It's on the ticket. Print it. Later. Much, much, much later. One eternity later. It's taking a long time. Might be making it right. Better not speak too soon. This is my hair looks a mess. I didn't comb it this morning, which I normally never do when I go to the gym. I mean, I'm going to the gym. Literally, it's going to get messed up. I don't want to bother. A few moments later. Y'all make this half sweet, right? Yes. Okay. Mmm. I was about to say, I know they didn't take all this damn time of mine and have my order wrong. They actually didn't put cheese on it. Yes! The last few times I've come, they've messed up my order. I asked for a manager last time, I was not happy. I give good grace, you know, when it comes to food, especially now because I know places are shorthanded. People are working their ass off, literally. I give people grace, but when you continue to do the same thing over and over, continue to make the same mistake, messing up my order, there's only so much grace I can have. So last time I had to ask for a manager, I clearly tell y'all no cheese. It's clearly written on the ticket. They still put cheese on my order. I basically raised hell last time because last time i actually ordered on doordash it's not like i could go back through the drive through that was a morning i really didn't have time i had a contractor in my house that was putting up my baby's wallpaper in her nursery i had never met him before i had to leave him in my house and come switch this order out it was a huge inconvenience that was the purpose of me ordering doordash so that i would not have to leave my house and they still didn't follow instructions so i was pissed having to drive up here since then they've kind of gotten better they've started to pay more attention to detail every time they mess up my order they have to refund it that's just how I am. And then the cheese they put on there is like powdered cheese. So it's not something you could pick off. I could be lactose intolerant. I'm not lactose intolerant, but the principle is I didn't want cheese. What I asked for is what I expect to get, especially if I'm paying for it. Also, you may notice I'm in a different car. This is actually the car. I think I got my junior or senior year of college. Yeah, I still have it. It has 101,000 miles on it. So it's still pretty good. It's a Honda. Gas high as hell right now, okay? Your girl got her porch parked at home until these gas prices go back down. I still run it maybe once a week just to keep it running so the, nothing happens with the motor or anything like that just to keep it running as far as how i run my errands and all of that now we're going in the honda the honda is 80 dollars to fill up versus the porsche 125 so you tell me which car would you drive it's not about looks anymore it's about this money i'm not about to volunteer to spend 125 dollars for gas when i could just spend 80. service is a lot cheaper in this car well last time it wasn't because i had to pay for my 100 000 mile service which is expensive i think 2200 dollars for everything it's worth it though because I like to keep my cars in good condition. That's why this car, I've had it for 11 years and it's still running. I can still use it because I take care of my car. People have tried to buy this car off me, it's not happening. I'm glad I didn't sell it now because it's coming in handy now. Let me show y'all what I got. So this is my breakfast in a bowl I got. It has cage-free eggs, avocado, peppers, onions, scallion, and some type of salsa. It ain't really seasoned. Even with all of that, it ain't seasoned. It don't have flavor. So I actually go to Starbucks. I have a bunch of these in here. Every time I go to Starbucks, I don't get their coffee, like I told y'all. You see where I got my coffee from this morning. 
packs somewhere else. I always get extra sriracha packs. This tastes delicious in there. Also, I tried to insert a picture. There's this jalapeno sauce from Trader Joe's. Oh my God, it tastes good on here. Unfortunately, that's something I have to keep refrigerated and I don't have a refrigerator in my car, it's hot as hell. I could keep it in a cooler, but that tastes even better on here. But I just don't have that right now since I'm out of the bounce. It just gives it so, ah! It went on my leg. There's a hole on the size of the box and I lost some sauce. And this tastes so good with this. I don't do salt and pepper. I just do this because this literally has salt and pepper. And I'm running out of sriracha sauce packs. So I'm going to go back to Starbucks and replenish those. They don't sell it in the store. I wish somebody would give me a recipe or something to make it. Nobody else's sriracha tastes like Starbucks. That's one thing they do right. If you don't like sriracha sauce, try it. You might like theirs because it's different. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By his hands, we're fed. Thank you for our daily bread. Bless to cook in Jesus name. Amen. I know it's like a kitty prayer, but it works, okay? You never know what you eat these days. You never know how clean the kitchen is, whether they wash their hands. Y'all know how picky I am about that. You gotta pray over your food before you eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Hey y'all, in this video, I'm sharing some luxury items that are not working out in my luxury collection. And I was inspired by me for all to do this video. Back in my other car, I don't know if I told y'all, but I played on a flag football team last year to help raise money for breast cancer. It's actually really fun. It ended in a bunch of drama, honestly. We didn't even get to play the game. I played one game because I volunteered to join another team that was short other members. More on that later. Long story short, there's a bunch of girls, a bunch of women, you know, fighting, fussing over a bull. We couldn't even play the game, which was kind of disappointing because we practiced for a couple of months for the game. So I really wanted to play. And also, I'm very competitive. I wanted to win. I've never played flag football before. Not since PE in like school, which really doesn't count. But to be a part of a team as a grown up was amazing. I'm meeting up with the girls that were on my team. We're going to eat. Not as excited about eating now, believe it or not, only because we're going me and my husband we have dinner plans at this other restaurant for six and i'm headed to this place for two i'm a few minutes late of course but i'm not gonna actually eat much because i'm trying to save my stomach this is actually a blogger event i'm going with my husband we're having dinner and they gave us a gift card so i'm about to max that out you already know what time it is and then this is coming out of my pocket so you do the math <laughs> Happy Sunday. I'm always doing this to my hair when I start these videos. I don't know why. I'm at church currently. I really didn't feel like going, but I've been saying that for the past couple weeks. And I'm like, look, I get up early for the gym and all of this. There's no excuse. So I am at church currently. And it's dark in here because I have my sunshade and my windshield. It's hot as hell. Oh, I'm cursing on church property. Can you help? Kind of isn't a bad word. Oh, I'm about to go inside. I cut my motor off, so I got to go. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Just got out of church. So glad I got up and went. I feel like that's gonna start the remainder of my day. I really had a craving for some fresh squeezed juice from this place called I Love Juice Bar. I went the wrong way. When I was a drive through especially with it being hot, I'm gonna utilize it. Normally I would go inside. I didn't even know this place had a drive through Oh, it's so narrow. Don't let me hit the curb. I always try to let people cross the street no matter if they're in the crosswalk or not. It's hot. I'm in an air conditioned car. They need to go, they can go. Y'all have some type of uh, blue, blue smoothie with bee pollen or something in it, but can you make the original one but no bee pollen? Extra ginger. I had to cut my phone off. Y'all can't be calling me and blowing my phone up. Mm -mm. I have like 3,000 unread texts now. I don't need no more. I do have something to leave with y'all. I'm a Christian, as y'all know, but I would never try to force my religion on anybody. But I do feel like it's my platform and I should be able to share that if I'm Christian and you can, you know, do whatever you want with it. The pastor did share something that really resonated with me and it really helped me. It's really gonna provide me encouragement for the week and thereafter. Everyone or every individual has their own fingerprint that no one else has to leave an imprint on the world that nobody else can. Whatever you want to do in life, whatever desires you have, ambitions, goals, you can do it regardless because you're you, you're your own person, you're like nobody else. You can't be worried about 
competition. If you want to start a business, I don't know. If you want to open a smoothie joint or something like that, you can't be worried about competition. Who else is doing it? If you want to start doing hair, you can't be worried about who else is doing it. Nobody probably can do it like you. Nobody can do it like you. There's a way to make it different and to make it your own no matter what you're trying to do. No matter what job you're trying to do. Thank you. You too. Let me find somewhere to park so I can take my first few sips in peace without having to drive. Which is parked illegally behind this car. Don't tell the police, okay? This is a smoothie I got. It's some blue smoothie. It has bee pollen in it normally, but it also has chia seed. I got it without the bee pollen just because bee pollen has a good test on pregnant women, blah, blah, blah. So I'd rather not take the risk with it and test it on myself. But normally I would get it if I wasn't pregnant. I'm pretty sure there's nothing to worry about, but I like to take any precaution I can. If it says it's not, it hasn't been tested, you ain't about to test it on me. Mm. So yeah, I just want to leave you with that. But even with what I left you with, it can be taken like, it doesn't really link to Christianity, I guess. I mean, it does, okay, it does in several ways. What I'm saying is if you're not a Christian, you can still take that advice and utilize it and apply it, implement it into imply it, apply it, implement it into your life and help it motivate, let it encourage and motivate you. Like if you've been waiting to do something, you've been waiting to start something, you can just go ahead and do it. You don't have to worry about anybody else and you shouldn't worry about anybody else. And that's that.